A sea of orange confectionery was released at the top of Baldwin Street, signifying the start of the first dash to the bottom in the Cadbury Jaffa race. The first five of the numbered giant candy balls to be captured were winners. For one lucky family on holiday from Christchurch, there was amazement when their ticket number was called out. And sisters Sophie and Annabelle Schneidman were impressed by what they saw. Uh, well, we were at the bottom, so we couldn't really hear it, but it looked like a blue sea coming down. Awesome. And did you like it, Sophie? What did you think of it? I thought it was cool. Cadbury partnered with three organisations who benefit from the more than $100,000 raised. Make-A-Wish, Surf Life Saving New Zealand and Parents Centre New Zealand all receive a cut. Three races, raising over $100,000 uh, here for local communities in Dunedin. So we're really, really pleased here at Cadbury to be associated with such a great event. The estimated 15,000 strong crowd was treated to entertainment in a street carnival atmosphere, but the colour of the Jaffas in the last race was kept a secret. It was, it was a secret in terms of what colour and you know, we know how, how important blue is as a colour uh, down here in this, uh, this neck of the woods for, uh, for rugby. So it was quite exciting to see a, a sea of blue coming down Baldwin Street this morning. Even though it was all over quickly for the families and people who made the trip down the valley, the spectacle of seeing a sea of sweet candy sailing down the world's steepest street will be something to savour for some time. And that's how they rolled. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.